Hey everybody. Well, I'm back out on my favorite river once again. And uh, this time I brought along my good buddy Adam. You might remember him from last time. And uh, we hit that, uh, the, what, Lake Apopka North Shore that time. Right. Yeah, so I'm bringing him out to some of my stomping grounds out here on the Econ, one of my favorite places to uh, fish and explore and kayak. And, and uh, we're going to see what we can get into. What do you think so far? I'm amazed. Isn't this place beautiful? beautiful? gorgeous it's like kayaking through the amazon or something yeah yeah i remember like 20 years ago when i first when i first hit this river and i was just like this is this is this is where i want to be this is you know i hike here i kayak here i um you know i take the swamp witch back here i do all kinds of cool stuff in this place so this is definitely so we we took a took a quick break uh we've been in here probably about an hour now and uh we're about to, you know, paddle downstream and see if we can catch some fish and, you know, explore some cool little spots. I want to show them a couple of my favorite little spots and see what we can get into. Sounds good. Let's do that. All right. All right. It's just so cool in here. It's like ancient Florida right here. At least, at least these ones. Get out of the uh, water for a little bit, stretch our legs, been throwing a line and exploring and checking things out. And uh, there's a little spot over here I want to show Adam. Ready to go check that out? Absolutely. Cool, let's do it. Let's do it. This place beautiful. Look at that grass. It couldn't get any greener, could it? <laughs> I don't think so. That is pelvis, look at that. I always thought they made some they make a good mask, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's not creepy at all. What'd you do today? Yeah, I stuck my face in a cow butt. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's huge. That'd totally make a good mask. Yeah, and drop some feathers and beads on it. So. Oh, oh yeah, a little bit of paint. And set it out in the weather for a year or two and let it look, let it get that age on it again after right. the fresh paint, you know? Start looking natural again. Yeah, it's pretty morbid. Oh, here's a nice jaw, though. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Kind of pretty among those wildflowers. These teeth are in there. That one's a little loose. Yeah, let's see if we can get one out. Let's see the whole thing. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Oof. Some frontier dental work. Right on. Got a Dremel at home. I got some replacement teeth. I think I'm ready to go. There you go. Take care of that. Take care of that abscess you got. I've got at least 15 different pairs of pliers to <laughs> choose from too. <laughs>
comes up, the exact spot that it came out of. Never happened. Oh, wait, wait. No. It was like on the movies, right? Let's get rid of our footprints. Hide your tracks. Yeah, we're going to back our way out of here. Let's move grass back up here. <laughs> hey, this is good tracking now, like I'm telling you. That's right. <laughs> oh, dude, check this stuff out. This stuff is really cool. I think it's called Red Shank. So, just pull a piece of it like this off. It's like bitter and then it gets really spicy. Yeah. It's like a real hot peppery. Yeah, it's really peppery. On the end of my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That's... Yeah. This is a a plant that was often used by the Native Americans for uh, medicinal reasons. Um, they would, you know, stomach problems, treat poison ivy. They would also use it as an insect repellent. I'm not exactly sure how they would prepare it, but I know that when I was reading about this, that's some of the information that I've received. But this stuff is really really spicy that one very much so. the funny thing about this this uh this plant here yes it's very very spicy i probably wouldn't overdo it but um you chew on it and it's like whew. and right now my lips and my mouth are burning it's very peppery slightly bitter but it will change the flavor of your food like uh everything that you eat from after you eat this a couple hours afterwards coffee tastes sweet and and uh water tastes even sweeter um uh, you know, like you eat, like your savories become sweet, your, your uh, sweets, yeah, your sweets become more salty. It's a strange, strange thing that happens to your taste buds with this stuff. But, but yeah, that's what this is. It's a red shank. And uh, it's got other names too, but that's something I've been wanting to show you guys for a long time. All right, ready to get into some other stuff? Absolutely. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, <laughs> and once again, let's do it. <laughs> well, we're back in the water. I'm gonna stay nice and quiet because we're coming up to a great big old gator hole up here and I don't want to frighten these alligators off so we're gonna see how it goes. Ready? back here can vouch for it. I wasn't rolling at the time and it went, uh, I felt it lift the boat and all of a sudden <laughs> no. He tried to come up under your kayak dude. <laughs> I wasn't rolling. I wasn't either. Really? Oh man water almost came over to everything. Oh man that was incredible. That's never happened to me before. This is insane. I don't get scared with the alligators because they, they don't want anything to do with us, but this is my first experience with the manatee interacting with the kayaks. And one of them lifted my kayak out of the water. I mean, I gotta tell you, my heart jumped into my throat. And right now I'm actually really on edge. I'm actually really nervous uh, because this thing could just flip me like it's nothing. And I'm just really, just relax. <laughs> there we go. Right here.
coming up for air. Seems like that they're really interested in the kayak, and um, I was—it's right here. Hi, baby. Oh man, I just—I I, I need to get more cameras out here. It was right here. Hey, yeah, they're right here. for very long because this cloud is kind of small. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh no! Oh. oh man, they're totally shoving me around. Oh. Oh. Attention to that manatee, what he's doing. Oh here. man, well, he was pushing your boat on purpose. He, was he? Pushing you sideways. Yeah, he's checking you out and pushing you. Bumping you. <laughs> he's probably playing with the boat. He's probably Maybe. I think it would. This is, this is incredible, but uh, that rain's nice, really nice relief from the heat. afraid that he's gonna take his tail and and I'll end up in the woods over there or worse in the belly of a gator <laughs> because this spot right here uh, is home of some really large alligators and I've seen them with my own eyes Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe rituals and stuff are doing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they're just playing.
I'll tell you what. It's like they don't smell very nice. <laughs> Adam here was thinking that maybe uh, they're tired of us hanging out and they were tr trying to scoot us along. Um, but we're not so sure because they just seem so content. You can see them back there. Of us ha having us around, they, they're they doing their thing and enjoying themselves like they were doing when we first pulled up. So we're going to hang out and observe a little longer. But this This is pretty... It's pretty incredible. Well, the rain's passed, but I'm assuming we're gonna get more throughout the day. Uh, Manatee calmed down. We had a mud boat go through here really fast, and I'm kind of glad that they uh, they retreated to this side of the river over here and uh, avoided the the boat altogether. But they're hanging around right around in here, but I think they're pretty much done for the day. See that they're gonna move up river or down river, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kinda of just checking it out, being cool and we'll see what happens.